lovers, it's Mike uh, and Nadi. He's just settling down after his walk. Let's do some yoga, huh? No words of wisdom in the beginning. All right, guys, close your eyes, draw the chin to your chest, and nice long leg. Oh, here comes Nadi. Hello. Hi, baby. No one needs to see your bottom. As cute as it is. <laughs> So clear the throat through the nose <coughs> and form your ujjayi breath. Ujjayi is a cooling, calming breath. <laughs> Nadi, we'll have a cuddle. It's just half an hour, okay? And then we'll have a cuddle and a croissant. You want your heels wide. Make sure your lower back is imprinted or a little closer into the mat. Nadi's sniffing my ear. Oh, he's licking in my ear. How gross. All our muscles released on the exhale. Even if it's undetectable, it's always happening. And this is why we exhale on effort. Good boy. Just settle down, fatty. I'm talking to Nadi, by the way. <laughs> Feel the pulse, guys. A beautiful pulse. Always there. And bring your awareness to the big toes of both feet. Drawing a line through the arches to the heels, add of the feet to the little toes, remaining the toes tops of the feet. Feel the pulse in the veins, tops of feet, ankles. And then shins and calves. Knees and then thighs and hamstrings. And then the hips, lower back, but it's heavy on the mat. Nice and heavy, guys. Lower back settles into the mat, belly sinks, middle back into the mat, and the diaphragm lifts inside the rib cage on the exhale. And then upper back. And the shoulder blades are wide, the arms heavy, the neck is long, the jaw is soft, the eyes soft, everything soft. Fully inhabiting the body, nervous system is soft and easy. Guys. We'll drop in the sutras, so if you want to bring your elbows out wide and just rest your fingertips on the le belly, just below the belly button. And you can drop in some sutras, these are cleansing and strengthening sutras of the Sacra Chakra. And I'll explain them at the end, I'll drop them in just like a pebble into a pond. The first sutra is purity. 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 Second sutra is nourishment, 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 nourishment. Third sutra is charm, 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 charm. And the fourth sutra is merging, merging, merging. Merging, purity, nourishment, charm, merging, purity, nourishment, charm, merging. So we drop in purity, so we train the body or allow the body, we don't need to train the body, but we allow the body to release toxicity 
from food and life experiences efficiently, effectively. Nourishment is drawing and extracting from everything we ingest, food to life experience, so we get the benefit of the lessons that, and the nourishment that comes from that. Charm is being able to magnetise or attract loving relationships, not just with, it, with people, but with the, our environment around us, so we have that connectivity there. And merging is finally feeling um, the connection with others. We need a clean body, a clean mind for that. Nice one, guys. Stretch your arms overhead, and then we'll come to a kneeling position. So we're on our hands and knees. We're going to spread our fingers super wide, longest fingers face forward, and come into a knee base plank, and then exhale. People often ask me what this does because it just feels so, it's not a stretch, um, it's actually a full body compression and contraction, so we're pushing down and out with the hands, which braces the upper body, and then squeezing the knees together, drive the tops of the feet to the mat, which engages transverse abdominis and lower body. I oh, know. Hello. Hi, baby. He's so beautiful. He loves being with his daddy. All right, guys. And then walking the knees towards the hands and then cat cow, we're gonna inhale, drop our belly. Exhale, hips tucked, chick tucked, round your back. Inhale, drop your belly. Exhale. Inhale. Drop your belly, exhale, inhale, drop your belly, exhale, inhale, exhale. Beautiful guys, and then we'll do large circles. Marty's wondering what daddy's up to. I'm doing yoga now. Do you see me do this before and then the other direction? And then child's pose, guys. So I think we'll revisit wrists today, guys. And just coming up in your own time. Mm, kiss. All right. So we're on our hands and knees. And people really struggle with this because, and I suggest you don't look <laughs> at your own hand because it looks weird. What you're going to do is put all your weight in one hand and then flip the other hand so that the top of the hand is on the mat and you want it to the, the heel of the hand if you like. And drive the baby finger and the thumb intermittently into the mat just to get that hand fully there. Now here's the trick. You want to lengthen through the armpits on the straight arm and internally rotate the um, flipped arm, if you like. So you want to rotate the inside of your elbow towards me. Um, now there is a seated version I'll show you, which looks like this. We grab it and then we rotate the elbow up inwards. Yeah, and that's the same kind of vibe, okay? But we're just using the mat. And it's a lot stronger because the hand is completely static. Now, if you want to go deeper, you can reverse your butt back. This really intensifies the stretch. And where you're going to feel it, guys, keep your hands on the mat, is the forearm there. This is really important. And you can soften the push of the thumb and the baby finger. Closing your eyes, draw the chin to chest. change. Sit on your heels if you can and just rotate that hand and just flip it back just a little. It's intense isn't it? Make a few fists. All right we'll do the other side. Now you're going to put weight on the hand we just stretched so just be really slow and careful. We flip the opposite hand and then internally rotate. And to get a bit more unity and control you can have the thumbs sort of touching if you like. It's up to you. And then that internal rotation and then 
slamming of that back. The next stretch is one of my favourites. This is where we stretch the underneath the forearm, the part that we're looking at now in the clip down. I know. So silky. So silky. And then change. Alright guys, and then flip. In reverse. Feels really satisfying. So you're going to feel it anywhere from the base right up through here. Nice guys. And then change coming out. Wow. Cool. We're going to do something different, guys. You want to grab a pillow. This is a shoulder blade stretch. And um, it's kind of cool. So we'll get there together, but I want to show you what it looks like first. So I'm going to put a pillow in front of me lengthways, sliding the hand underneath the pillow. And I'm going to shoot my hand through, drop my shoulder off the pillow, my head on the pillow. And this elbow stays on top of the wrist, okay? The back of the hand is on the mat. And I'm just going to push into that bent elbow and look over my top shoulder. You're going to feel a stretch in the bottom shoulder blade. Now to go deeper, you can inhale, lift, reach forward, re-imprint your shoulder, and then twist. So this actually stretches the thoracic. It's really, really cool. Very satisfying. So we'll do this together. Scoop through. <laughs> and then twist. It's kind of like a sumo for the shoulder blades. So we really want to push down on the hand of that bent elbow. Push down and out away. It doesn't move though, which rotates that top shoulder back even more, twisting even more. And let the weight fall into that bottom elbow on the mat. Just let your whole body weight fall into there. Make sure there's no compression in the neck. Beautiful guys, hang in there. So it takes your breath away, so you might need to breathe into your belly more. And then change. Well done guys. Coming out on the other side. To give you an idea, it's almost like it's, it's that kind of movement, okay? We tend to engage the shoulder of the low elbow, and that's normal, so we want to sort of decouple from that. Remember, we do that on the exhale. Exhale is where all the magic happens, all the letting go and the releasing happens.
and then change. Well done, guys. Oh, cool. Let's do shoelace to finish. So we'll get our cushion double folded and put it in the middle of the mat. And then coming onto your elbows and threading one shin underneath the opposite. And we're crisscrossing, okay? We put the other foot on top of the knee. And then we want to come down onto the thigh of the low knee, okay? It's really important. Now, even if the opposite butt cheek is off, we want to keep this static. So the body, the reason why we do this, guys, is that the body relaxes a lot more when it's got an anchor point somewhere, a part of the body that is anchored and on the map. If we free fall into it like this, the body won't relax. So we want to anchor it down, jump our hand closer and more anteriorly. And then we swing from the low side to the high side. Now, many of you will be here and that's not a problem at all. You want to make sure that this front shin, I've got a round mat, but most of you will have a towel or a square mat. You want this shin to be parallel to the front of your mat. People quite often go into lotus and that's not, that'll take you out of the stretch. When we bring the shin forward, it rotates the head of the femur, okay? When we bring it forward and that's what we want to do. And there it is. So this stretch doesn't give much away. It sort of feels like nothing's gonna happen. And then finally it starts to let go. Now, if and only if your knees stack onto the feet, you can then come forward, okay? Otherwise, just stay upright. So you're gonna feel it deep inside the hips. So we're rotating the head of the femur, which are kind of probably that big on me. <laughs> I've got massive bones, I am big boned. I've no, I don't think I've ever broken a bone. Once I actually got fascinated with the flexibility of my ribs and then I pushed so hard that I heard this and then this pain radiated <laughs> and I couldn't breathe properly for like three months. So I have green stick fractured my rib just by pushing it in and experimenting. And you know what's so embarrassing is that that happened about a year ago about a year and a half, two years ago maybe. So, and I'm 47 now. That's another thing I realized, is that I'm not as old as I thought. Yeah, I'm not as old as I thought. That's a good, I thought I was 48, but then someone told me I was 47 turning 48. Yeah. Don't ask. <laughs> Oh, Nadi. You're my little man, you know that? You know I love you, Nadi. He's so cute. <sighs> nice, guys. And then change will come out. This is my favourite bit. <sighs> Alright, guys. And we'll do the other side. So we're going to thread. Oh, is that it? No, that's not it. You want to bend your elbows, guys. I've come off my pillow. Can you feel that? So we swing from the low side, the side that the thighs planted on the mat, to the high side. I'm so tempted to get Nadi a little brother or sister, but I can barely manage Nadi. What do you reckon, guys? Maybe leave a comment. You know that, I don't know if Nadi would like to share my affections, to be quite honest. I think he's quite happy getting all the attention. I would be. 
I had a twin sister though. I had. <laughs> I still have a twin sister. Hi Lou. And it was fun having a twin, someone to play with. And then forward fold if you want. Alright guys, now you come. Well done. Thanks guys. Sebastian. We're gonna join Nadi. Nadi's the boss here. Okay. Back of hands on the mat, close your eyes, draw the chin to chest. Nice one there, guys. Find your pulse. Purity, nourishment, and charm merging. Next week we'll have the solar plexus sutras. Guys, come to see you when you're ready. Thanks, everyone. Namaste. And I'll see you next week, yeah? Mm.